Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to SimpleCamConcepts.com. Uh, today I'm in my training room in Waterloo Centre and I'm uh, going to discuss with you on ionic equations, how to write it. Now, uh, in the previous video, I've just discussed on the steps in writing ionic equation. Uh, there are basically five steps that you follow closely and I uh, promise you that you're able to write your ionic equation 100% of the time without fail. Now, first step, you need to have a balanced chemical equation followed by assigning the state symbols to all the chemical species that be reactants or products. They can be solid, liquid, gas or aqueous. And uh, step three is to split all the aqueous species, whether it is uh, reactants or products, into its ions, after which you cancel the ions that appear on both sides of the equation. Okay, last but not least, of course, you have your ionic equation. Now, uh, let's take a look at an example. Uh, again, today I'm going to use acid alkaline neutralization reaction. In the previous video, I actually used hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Today, I choose a dibasic acid all right, to react with sodium hydroxide. Over here, we use sulfuric acid to react with it. Uh, the products that we have is your salt sodium sulfate, which is soluble in water. All sodium salts are soluble in water, all right? and as well as your uh, water itself, which is the liquid. Okay, uh, As we say, part one or step one, you need to balance the equation. If you take a look, the equation is not balanced yet, so it's important uh, to balance it. So sodium, you need to balance it by putting a 2 in sodium hydroxide here and after which you need to put a 2 uh, in front of water so if you check for each element right now the equation is balanced so what do we do now? Uh, we need to choose all the aqueous species alright, the aqueous species and we need to break them up into its ions so for the first one, uh, you need to be careful for sulfuric acid there are actually two hydrogen atoms here so when it becomes um, the ions, when you split it up, they will have two H plus over here and of course you have your sulfate anion and over here there are two sodium hydroxide uh, compounds cell so you need to split them up carefully, there are two Na plus and two OH minus ions let's go to the product side the product sodium sulfate salt, uh, again there is a 2 below that, meaning when it's split out into its ions, there will be 2 Na+. Alright, and you follow up with your sulfate ion, and of course your water, you can't split water since it's liquid state, we only split aqueous state, alright, just a reminder. And after which we just cancel ions that is um, that appears on both sides of the equation, again we break it into two halves, left and right side. Uh, you realize sodium, 2 Na plus over here, you can cancel off. Uh, is there anything else? Yes, of course, we have sulfate ions that we can cancel off. So your ionic equation will be whatever is left behind. Okay, and there will be 2H plus equals plus 2OH minus equals. And then this will give you 2H2O. But this is not the final equation that you present in exam. Because we realize all of them is by two moles. You can further divide it by two, all right, um, to bring them to simpler terms. So it becomes H plus plus OH minus equals to give you H2O. This will then be your ion equation. And again, sometimes the examiners would like to ask you what is the spectator ions. Okay, and in this case, it will be the uh, ions that you cancel off. Uh, that will be Na plus ions and your SO4 2 minus sulfate ions. Okay, uh, hope with this uh, new video you will feel more confident in writing your ion equations as well as determining the spectator ions. Um, so that's all for today. I welcome you back to check out more videos uh, on chemistry tips and exam based questions and uh, discussions. See you and take care.